beautiful red fish. What a blessed morning, man. Come on. Out here in Tampa Bay. Oh, there we go. Well, good morning. It's just a beautiful day here in Tampa Bay, Florida. It's just, look, I mean, look at this. It's. We just hit sunrise and I'm about 3.8 miles from the launch. We are running the big speed this morning just to get us there. That's one way, 3.8 miles one way. And that's basically like my best bet. There's a few other ways to get here, but the route I'm gonna take today, I just needed to make that four mile straight shot and then work all my way back. So um, yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys watching all the videos on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the stuff I just put out in Alabama with Scott Kennedy doing some kayak duck hunting that was just that was awesome and so i'm blessed to be able to do what i do i'm thankful that you guys have been supporting all the new videos that have been coming out the camping ones and, and just all of that so great for you guys let's just get to fishing i'm after some reds and some snook this morning i don't know what's going to happen i haven't been to this spot in over a year i've just been in a different area so I'm, I'm coming back i'm going to try and refigure this place out and see if we can't get some fish so thanks for watching let's do this Oh, there's one. <laughs> hey, little snooky. <laughs> All right. I think it might be a red, actually. Yep. There we go. The way it hit, I thought it was a snook. <laughs> All right. Nice little red for the day. Ah, start the morning off. Oh, yeah. Hey, old buddy. That was a nice way to start the morning. So, he was a little over 18 inches, which you can keep that. But, um, I'll keep one if, if I get one a little bit bigger. Maybe a little over 20 something. 18 is a great, a great size to, uh, to do on the grill, do like half shell. But um, if I'm gonna keep one, I'm gonna keep one a little bit bigger just so, you know, more than just myself can eat it. My son, well, one of my sons, Rylan, he loves uh, fish, so. Now, I know not everyone likes to fish up against the mangroves like this, um, but I have more success when I, okay, something's going on here. Okay. I do have more success when I fish parallel to the mangroves. Yeah, I know I run the risk of not being able to yank the fish out, but I can always bolt out to the right um, if I need to, you know, if you get a big enough fish. Well, the alternative is to you know fish this way into the mangroves but i just feel like i cover more mangrove line fishing this way and give more fish a chance who are hiding under the cover to be able to you know follow it along their home <laughs> which is the mangroves rather than drawing them straight out from the mangrove so everyone has their preference this is just, this happens to be mine, fishing kind of more parallel. It's high tide right now. It was high tide at 6 a.m. And it's like 7.25 right now. So the tide should be falling a little bit as we, you know, move to uh, late morning, early afternoon. So the fish are going to be all up underneath these mangroves here. I could be skipping, but the top water, I just love the top water. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> he barely, he barely grabbed it. 
This is what I mean by going back into the mangroves. How they like to do. I just try and shoot out to the right. There we go. Got another beautiful redfish. And this one's a little bit bigger. Um, the other one was like 18 something. I gotta measure him, but he's probably, like I said, like closer to 21. Um, I love that. It's like perfect for my grill. Perfect, in, you know, it's like for me and my one of my sons to eat. So this guy might be coming home. Thank you, Lord, for this fish. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Kind of swam away, but okay. There we go. Good. Whew, that was close. Now that's a snow. I think, <laughs> man, I'm so out of touch with life. <laughs> All these redfish are hitting like snooks. Jeez. Jeez. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh, he's mad. He's really mad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Holy smokes. So mad. Everyone's so mad this morning. Another beautiful redfish this morning. Right here. Awesome. Now, I already kept the uh, 21 inch. This one's bigger than 21 inches. And so uh, this one's gonna go back, but I do wanna, man, the mosquitoes are just out like crazy today. Do you wanna check this guy? Ah, this guy's 24 inches. 24 inch red, beautiful red out here in Tampa Bay. Boom, there we go. So right now we're sitting at three redfish for the day. So we come in at, let's see, like 18 and a half, a little over 18. A little over 20 like 21 something like that and then 24 so they're like progressively getting bigger which is awesome like that's what we want to see so i just want to kind of track from my own knowledge kind of what's happening here so it was high tide at six so we've got a falling tide um it's going to be lower tide late afternoon right now it's about 8 30 and so okay falling tide is like three three to four mile per hour winds today uh, what else? What else? Woke up this morning. It was like 65. The water, water's a little chilly, not too much, but yeah, this spot is. This is all I remember it to be. This is where I used to come when I was trying to target redfish, and so um, they're still a little smaller than uh, than usual, but still, you know, the reds the reds are here and it's doing good. So I'm glad. I'm glad when it works out like that. We're gonna keep fishing. For a little bit i've got a um a roof being replaced on my sunroom today so i don't know how long i'm gonna stay out and it's a long haul back to launch so we're gonna keep fishing keep having a good time and see where the day takes us so it's about let's see here 11 24 almost 11 30 and i'm packing it up so i'm heading back to the launch it has been a beautiful morning out here i caught three redfish i missed a few 
Uh, and, I, and I started to track some over here, but um, I'm not sure I was gonna hook up with those anyway, to be honest, but I do gotta head home. We're getting a whole new roofing, metal roofing system put on on our sunroom in Florida. It's like a whole big deal. It's like a special roof that only a certain companies can do and that have, you know, the ability to install these types of metal roofs. And when the, the Hurricane Hurricane Ian came through, it just, oh man, it just messed that roof up so much. We got a bunch of water in, water all in the installation, and it's just it, it was just time to replace it anyway. So that's being done today. I'm gonna head back. Great day on the water here in Tampa Bay. It's November. Uh, almost December and so this is about the time when I really love and enjoy the red fishing I mean not that it it's easy but it, it gets a little bit easier in my opinion around this time of year it's just the water starts to get cooler and I think they start to get a little bit more aggressive and so <laughs> um, yeah I, I love it I love it so guys if I can answer any questions for you uh, not necessarily like specific spots you know things like that but if if i can help you out with with any sort of knowledge that i might know in terms of how to catch them or what i'm doing or when i'm going out or you know i don't always go out and slay it and I, just being honest with you i'm not really sure there there are people out here that slay it every time they go out but i mean maybe there are but that's not me so just being honest with you um i can definitely try to do my best to offer some tips and and lend uh any the little knowledge I might have so yeah man today I was just working the top water like I normally do and it paid off got some hookups got a few misses um, saw some snook but then I just kind of let those go because I was like on a redfish hunt so I just started chasing around like the shoulders of redfish pushing through the flats and um, I just I just kind of made them mad I didn't I didn't catch those so that's pretty much it for this video guys I really appreciate you watching I'm posting more consistently I hope you guys are enjoying that uh, and I'm just going to keep doing it. I have some new videos coming up like camo painting a shotgun and different things like that. I know it's not fishing related, but it's things I like to do. And that's what I want to share with you and YouTube. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.